Imagine yourself floating weightlessly in outer space. This is a good description of what it's like to float in a flotation tank. What is a flotation tank? A flotation tank is a large shoebox-shaped chamber filled with a 10-inch deep solution of water and 800 pounds of Epsom salts. Because of the high salinity of the solution, your body floats with extreme buoyancy atop the water. The water is heated to 93.5 degrees Fahrenheit, so it feels neither warm nor cool, called temperature neutral. The tank is light trapped, resulting in pitch blackness where you can't even see your hand in front of your face. The simulated zero gravity encountered in the tank, added with the effective elimination of light, temperature, and noise, produces the deepest, most profound relaxation possible on Earth. The development of the flotation tank began in 1954 by Dr. John C. Lilly and Dr. J. Shirley. The very first tank was located at a facility in the Virgin Islands. The tank was constructed during World War II by the Navy to run experiments on the metabolism of underwater swimmers. Lilly and Shirley were both working for the National Institutes of Mental Health and wanted to directly study the human brain. And the best way to study any system is to eliminate all known influences to and from that system, like gravity, light, temperature, and noise. Their first tank required the floater to be suspended vertically, completely underwater, head covered with a rubber mask and breathing apparatus, joined with hoses that were connected to an air pump. Lily and Shirley used themselves as subjects in those early experiments. After his first float, Lily wrote in the second person, this environment furnished the most profound relaxation and rest that he had ever experienced in his life. It was far superior to a bed for purposes of recuperation from the stresses of the day's work. He found that there were many, many states of consciousness, of being, between the usual wide awake consciousness of participating in an external reality and the unconscious state of deep sleep. He found that he could have voluntary control of these states that he could have, if he wished, waking dreams, hallucinations, total events could take place in the inner realities that were so brilliant and so real they could possibly be mistaken for events in the outside world. In this unique environment, he discovered that his mind and his central nervous system functioned in ways to which he had not yet accustomed himself. The vertical tank was later replaced by the present day horizontal version with a person floating on the surface of a dense solution of Epsom salts and water. In the early 70s, Lilly had several tanks at his home in Malibu. He was well known by then for his attempts to communicate with dolphins and for his explorations of inner space. He invited members of the new human potential movement to float in his tanks. As a result, flotation tanks became popular, especially when celebrities like Chris Christopherson, John Lennon, and Robin Williams acquired their own. Gravity. Floating releases gravity-related tension in the body. Now, let's talk about how the flotation tank works. Floating in a solution of water and 800 pounds of Epsom salts eliminates gravity by creating simulated zero gravity. So what is gravity? Nobody really knows. It's still a mystery. But we can definitely feel gravity, especially because of our upright position. Evolution changed everything. Normally, we should be down on all fours, so our weight would be more equally distributed across our body, like a cat. I don't think cats ever suffer any back problems. All of our weight is on a very limited area. This leads to stress and structural problems for our knees and hip joints, lower back, neck, and abdomen. The heart has to pump much harder than it should to circulate our blood supply. Our bodies try to compensate by adopting rigid postures, resulting in lower back and neck pain, tension headaches, shallow breathing, high blood pressure, heart disease, ulcers, and asthma. Biologists even believe that gravity attacks the body at a cellular level, reducing the cell's ability to replicate itself. This results in a speeding up of the aging process. It's been estimated that 90% of all activity affecting our central nervous system is dedicated to counteracting the effects of gravity. 
all of our perceptions and sensations take place against this background of muscular tension. It decreases the sensitivity and awareness of our external and internal reality. So if gravity-related tension reduces our sensitivity and awareness, floating gravity-free must increase it. Because of the density of the Epsom salts in water, the body is completely supported. No pressure points are created anywhere on the body. And because our bone muscle system is no longer straining against gravity, every muscle can unfold and completely relax. Because we become much more sensitive in zero gravity, we can pinpoint muscular tension, focus on it, and even get rid of it. The release from gravity dramatically increases our circulation, letting the heart work more efficiently as blood pressure drops and heart rate slows. Overall blood flow increases and carries healing biochemicals like endorphins to work on injured areas in the body. The parts of the brain devoted to computing and dealing with gravity are now freed up to give more attention to the mind and spirit. Many of my floaters tell me that floating gives them the feeling of coming home, reconnecting to something familiar, almost at a genetic level. Biochemical. Floating stimulates release of beneficial biochemicals in the bloodstream. It was once thought that the human brain was like a computer, but it has now been discovered that chemical substances control the operation of the brain. Biochemicals have been found that make us feel shy, happy, aggressive, sleepy, a whole myriad of feelings and emotions. Tests on the effects of floating on biochemicals show that floating has a beneficial effect on the release of these natural substances. For example, tests show that floating greatly lowers the levels of chemicals directly related to high levels of stress and stress-related illness. Biochemicals like norepinephrine, adrenaline, cortisol, and ACTH, among others. Floating also stimulates the brain to secrete large amounts of endorphins, pain-killing, euphoria-creating substances known as the body's own opiates.